The master poacher tag, Bert almost gets there. Had his fingertips on the ball for a millisecond. Nagari was under pressure while trying to get that kick in, and it's taken by Andrew Conway. Started both games against Japan in that mini-series in 2017. Josh van der Fleer. You can see he's a more powerful ball carrier these days. Here's a man who's carried partly all through his career. Bundy Aki, whether for Connacht, Ireland or the Lions. Johnny Saxon again, and they're trying to create some width on the outside channels. Here's Ring Rose now. Low tag furlong, beautiful hands for furlong. Sexton, Josh van der Fleer. Oh, and it's Bundyaki. Little pop pass from Tagburn. And Jemison Gibson Park puts it in front of Andrew Conway. And a try for each of the winners here as Ireland exploits the full width of Dublin. That's a tremendous score from Ireland. Brilliant hands, great accuracy in the pass. Lines are running. Lovely little kick at the end from Gibson Park. And Japan beat Ireland 1912 at the World Cup. Ireland didn't score a point after the 22nd minute. Well, they've scored 19 points up to the 22nd minute this time. And you fancy the lad to that total today because they're running rampant against Japan. It's James Lowe again. So, so much accuracy about this Irish performance. Handling's been crisp, the passing very, very forensically accurate, and the offloads as well are sticking like that one. There's nothing Japan can do about it at the moment. Because Ireland are machine like. Here is James Ryan. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all game line carries as well, isn't it? James Law, oh, what a beautifully timed pass to Conan. He's got Conway, now Gibson Park, who slips into Matsushima. Or Ireland here on the cusp of a fourth try. Tag Furlong stays really strong on his feet. That's real Lions test class. Carried on by Caelan Doris. All right. It's Here he is, one of the dozen Lanstermen in the starting 15 to James Ryan, the former captain of Ireland, Johnny Sexton, the skipper today, and here is Sexton, Bundy Aki, and Ireland looking very smooth out there at the moment. It's all knitting together so well. The handling's excellent. Gibson Park, Ring Rose. Oh, he gets through the... Commentary that he felt the Japanese line-out was too complicated. So we'll keep an eye on that. Here's Kelleher for Ireland. A good attacking position. Most of Ireland's tries in the Six Nations began with a line-out. Well, you're talking about overcomplication there. It's just a, a bullet of a throw there to James Ryan, and look how effective it can be. Off go the Purple People. En masse. Bundyaki, Johnny Sexton, the space outside. Andrew Conway with a coast to the line and Ireland's third try there was masses of space on that right wing yeah they got very bunched the Japanese there but it comes from the mall the mall from Ireland was so aggressive they get him going forward you're on the back and watch them they're quite compressed here watch they're watching Aki it's the pass outside they get too tight and that is just a wonderful pass from Hugo Keenan the accuracy there inside their own half can New Zealand hold? Jordy Barrett putting up a towering kick for James Lowe. Early test for him. Jordan got there first, but it fell for Bundy Aki. And so Ireland have it. Gibson Park. This time looking to get the ball through the hands. Ronan Kelleher, the hooker. Gibson Park away to Sexton. Quickly through the hands. And now it's James Ryan. Hugely impressive lock, such a key man in this Irish game. And a little show of the ball too, and almost slipping through was Hugo Keenan, the fullback. It's there for Gibson Park, so a succession of phases here for Ireland. Rico Ioane making the tackle. Now Sexton, little delayed pass, Arke punching ahead as Ring Rose. Gets it away to Conan, and now the winger Conway, who scored three tries last week. This is promising for Ireland. Porter, the prop involved. Away to his fellow front rower, Tyke Furlong. Ireland building nicely. 
Blackadder, though, getting to the ball nicely. And I think an illegal entry from one of the Irish forwards results in a penalty. But that was promising for Ireland. Some sort of a start. Fullbacks need to make some sort of adjustment to try and control some territory. Yeah. Hold the turns, please. Yeah, totally agree. No, once more, Lines Ryan over. wins the line out. They're not driving it. They go to Arkey. Nice little wraparound move. And here's low again. The two wingers combining. And the hot step and Andrew Conway held up off the ground initially. No, no, no. Flex thinking about a counter ruck. Well, the early stages of the second half, you think it'd be crucial. Can Ireland find their way back into the lead? But already the All Blacks having to make a lot of tackles. Gibson Park pops it up. Van der Fleer is there. The crowd roaring once more. Ringrose did well to hang on to that and drive ahead in the tackle. Just a couple of metres from the line. Low looking for a second. Gibson Park. All Blacks lining up on their own goal line. Kellaway. He's over. The hooker scores. Ronan Keller had the try. And it's all tied up again. Simply sensational. They have started the second half as they basically dominated the whole of the entire first half. The attack has balance, it has subtleties, it has transition runners. Sexton orchestrating it. Lowe getting off his wing. Kelleher and Ireland's go to the ball. And as I say, that Van der Fleer peels away. And Caelan Doris takes the ball up in Ireland. Uh, well inside the Welsh 22, Ringrose steps back inside, but he's wrapped up. Tompkins, I think, is the one to make the tackle. Tight Furlong is chopped down. Still low there for Ireland. Jonathan Sexton on the wraparound. Here's Matt Hansen, pass outside. Bundiaki! Two minutes, 17 seconds. Ireland have the first try of the Guinness Six Nations 2022. Matt Hansen involved. And ominous, ominous signs for Wales as Ireland were in complete control. Arguably, Mac Hansen could have been in for an earlier try. They had space on the right wing, but still they recycled. And there's just the awareness there to put that floating pass in over the top. Break foot. Crouch. Foot stays out. Bind. Even through the bind. Set. And now back it comes before it came back, before the engagement. Gibson Park, Bundiaki, Gary Ringrose. Ireland looking to change the point of attack. And Ringrose sees a little gap, but he's almost away. Basham did really well to make the tackle. James Ryan. Second row sets it up for Sexton right on that gain line. Van der Flair squirts through for a couple more yards than he might have expected. Caelan Doris, Johnny Sexton, Hugo Keane and Ireland moving the ball around. They have Wales turned, but Wales get players back. And we'll go back for a penalty. Wales offside. Kelleher, Irish line out, six metres short. Tide burn, Josh Van der Flair, Kelleher in to receive around the narrow side wales holding on but holding on illegally and dragging that ball down second time they've been penalized advantage to ireland aki and then sexton and ring rose and up to the five meter line quick ball for gibson park how wide it goes andrew conway puts his foot on the gas and is in conway for the corner the tmo will decide all in one motion. Kelleher to Ryan and the mall. Van der Fleer, Kelleher, Gibson Park. And they moved off the lovely hands through that three quarter line. Matt Hansen for Andrew Conway. Conway uses the feet to get another yard or two. Now out of the pace, Tyburn, Van der Fleer, Josh Van der Fleer almost away. 
terrific tackle and it needed to be from Rizama. But Ireland on they come relentlessly. Caelan Doris, three metres short, there for Gibson Park. Ireland looking for their third try. Furlong, lovely hands. Sexton runs into a wall of red and Wales breathe for the moment at least. Gibson Park, Van der Flair started it all with that take and break. And now it's Conan. Wales hanging on, desperately hanging on. Furlong, tight burn. It's a green wave that no. just keeps coming at them. Gibson Park. Conway. Third try for Ireland, the second for Andrew Conway. And in the end, it was inevitable. Hold it well defensively. That tackle came from Brexham, Robbie Henshaw. Top back inside to Caelan Doris, and Doris is she on his shoulder, and Carberry is there, and Carberry is in! Ireland carved Italy open! Robbie Henshaw drives for a yard or two, Carberry, Give them and now this. Ringrose, and James Low and Low. Lowry. Brex put him down. Tigburn, Ireland building, building, Van der Flair drives into the defensive effort of the Italians, Burn. Five metres short, it's inevitable, O'Mahony, the captain, bonus point try for Ireland. Conan leaps and now it skips a park. Sexton and Shaw. Sexton on the rock around. Johnny Sexton, open country. Pass away. Lowry's going to get a second. Michael Lowry in. Almost up to the 22, but somehow Ireland have come away with it. Henderson, that is a risky pass across the three quarter line of England. Sexton. Steps back inside at Toje to make the tackle O'Mahony. It really is all going off here. Million miles an hour stuff. Aki, Ringrose, Van der Fleer, little bit of space. Dan Sheehan, the hooker, out on the wing. Sheehan, the Leinster man, takes over from Kelleher, who's out injured. Both hookers, first choice hookers for England and Ireland at the start of this championship, not available. Cowan Dickey and Kelleher. Here's Van der Fleer, and here's James Lowe. Lowe pins the ears back. Will he get there? Yes, he will. Max Melis couldn't make up the ground. There was space out there, and Ireland found it. Absolutely amazing. Murray, Van der Fleer. It's a battle of wills as much as anything else right now. Into the 22 Ireland go. Sexton, 12 phases Ireland go through, and there's a gap there, and Ringrose feeds it on to Andrew Conway, cross comes Daly, no is there as well, up to the English five metre line, Murray is there, Ireland are there! Jack Conan, is that the one that seals the deal? In the end, England just ran out of ability to continue to make tackles and Ireland built the phases and eventually found the space. Well, they've been run off their legs, England. So stoic for so long. Advantage being played, Sexton, ring rose the infield pass. Now they go wide to the veteran, Keith Owens, and he's over! Oh, oh my word, how good was that? I tell you what, you don't see many better than that. No, not when they score the first try of a series like that and make a statement like that. Omani was fantastic in the early part of those phases. Backwards. 12 metres on the all black side of halfway and it falls for Savia. Release! And he struggles a couple of metres to set it up for Aaron Smith. Oh, now Smith, there, he also is going to kick the ball into Irish territory gets it up nice and high and coming forward beautifully is Mac Hansen the only change to the Irish team from the first test as Gibson Park digs in now he gets it a short pass off to Van der Flair
Gibson Park again, swings it away for Sexton. He drops it off for Byrne. Tag Byrne in the clear. Now he's going to line it up, decides to take the tackle. As Gibson Park looks left and right, now he gets it off to Porter. Good start here by Ireland. Gibson Park again, away for Sexton. Referee's got the arm out. Here's James Lowe. 15 metres out from the all-black line. Gibson Park now Sexton. Delays the pass. Hanson drops the pass off. The All Blacks hanging on desperately. It's a penalty advantage still. Ball is there though for Mac Hanson. Fires it off to Sexton. Here's Thunder Flair. Gibson Park gets there quickly to swing it away. Another good start here by the visitors. Long pass across it goes for Robbie Henshaw. Right in midfield. Gibson Park again. The All Blacks hanging on here. Now it's with James Ryan. Sexton drops the pass off. Hanson sells the dummy. Almost got through. Five metres away. Gibson Park again. Tard Byrne. Again the arm goes out. Now Violin got the numbers. Charging. Try scored. Boy, what a start that is. What a start from Ireland. I really consider him an option. Thank he you. must be just Thank here you. for a bailout. Tark Furlong right at the back. So she lobs it in. Well done. As Omani drags it in. And Ireland have got a good drive going here. They've also got a penalty advantage. Still penalty advantage. Now the ball slipped to Gibson Park. Away for Arkey. Sexton. Hanson. Fullback Keenan is in. Low. Can't beat the tackle of Geordie Barrett though. Here's Sexton again, shoveling it across Arkey. Good power by Bundy Arkey. Just near the 22 as they go blindside through Hanson. Slips it to Lowe, he's in gap. Keenan in a gap, and Keenan scores! What a terrific try by the Irish fullback. Oh, you said it, Ms. Bo. Who? Outstanding. You deal with it, mate. So well drilled and organised. It all started at the line-out more, which got their momentum going forward. And under advantage then, the patience, but also when the gaps were there, they quite had the ability to make sure the okay. pass was into the space. Nice from Hanson, equally from Keenan out the back. Low bides his time, really good ball placement. They swing it back through Sexton's hands into the middle. Bundy Yaki takes it up. Now, what's those players holding? Hanson's the first receiver. Goes to him, the skip passed on Keenan. Out to James Lowe. Little bit of a no-look pass on the inside to Keenan again, who featured so prominently in this move. And he's got too much pace and skill. He finishes for Ireland outstanding. Yeah, it was the pass. It was the skip pass that drew Will Jordan in, wasn't it, in that last phase? Most of a good off the back of the scrum. He's got options either side of him as they stack Ireland. They've got Sexton and Bundy Aki to the left for him. And then they've got in the midfield Henshaw and also Keenan to the right. I like the option to the left. Big decision for Geordie Barrett defending. At the moment he's drifting at the back there, hovering to the right. Gibson Park drags it out. They do come to the right. And it's with Keenan. Now Gibson Park. Here's Doris. Kalen Doris, the big number eight. Ball there for Gibson Park again. Slings it across to Sheehan. Oh, Arkey's in the game. Oh, they've worked it brilliantly. And Robbie Henshaw scores for Ireland. Coming through, the ball is out, says uh, the Georgian referee. Willems are underneath it. Tackled by two Irishmen, Robert Balakoon and Gary Ringrose. Balakoon not getting much ball in the loose. And in comes Doris Brigadier, captain play. Van der Fleer, James Ryan, Porter, superb. Jamison gets in power, here's the gap. Tag burn, must be a try for Ireland. Jimmy O'Brien to Matt Hanson. Brazzling the spin box. So effective on the ground. And now back goes Owen Williams. Come on! And that creates some options for Keane. Low. That was a fantastic running line. Here goes Bondiaki again, and Aki's almost through. 
Important little tip tackle there from Kerry to, to Lupi Fatatel. Very slow back to his feet. And now there are men over out wide. But it's slow getting through the fingers. Hansen gets things going, and that was superb to Sheehan. Sheehan looking for the support. There are quite a few players out there who are out on their feet at the moment. That was Conan. Doris. This Welsh defence is stretched. Remember, there's still a one man down, and they've got to be for the next three and a half minutes or so. Casey. There's Hanson coming in field. The offload to Sheehan. Sheehan is met by Josh Adams. Ireland going in for the kill. Casey. On to Henderson. It's still there for the Munster scrum half. The pick up that time from Tom O'Toole. Ireland looking to seal their fourth try. It would surely mean victory. It would also mean a fifth point. Here's Casey. And Josh van der Flair. How appropriate. The World Player of the Year. All he had to do was catch it and fall over. Ireland have ended a 10-year drought in the Six Nations in Cardiff. They may well regret that. It's all about taking opportunities at this, the highest level. Scotland did it last week. Scored tries almost every time they got into the English 22 at Twickenham. Here's Bealham, beautiful ball! Oh, that's magnificent! Keenan! Keenan's going to score for Ireland! Oh, my goodness! Connor Murray, whose service looked very sharp last week in Wales. In the absence of Jamison Gibson Park, his first choice these days for Ireland. This is great work from Ireland again. Ring rolls for low, low, should score in the corner for Ireland! And the on-field decision was a try! And the try stands!